So here we are on the Murtech booth today, uh, one of the most successful AOI companies in the industry at the moment, uh, and very dynamic, and we're joined by Brian D'Amico, who runs the US operations. Yep. Welcome, Brian. Nice to see you again, Trevor. Okay. So, um, three new machines we're going to be looking at uh, yes. today. The first was uh, a 2D, 3D SPI system. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure, sure. It's actually the MB7 series 2D, 3D AOI system. Okay. Uh, what this machine has, it has our exclusive 15 megapixel ISIS vision system. Mm -hmm. That's uh, something that you won't get out of any other vendor here. Once right. again, that's because we manufacture our own cameras. Mm -hmm. So we kind of control our destiny with that. Mm -hmm. We also offer four 10 megapixel side view cameras and also a quad multi-frequency moiré. Right. So as you know, Murtech has been around the 2D industry and in inspection. We are the experts in that. Mm -hmm. Doing it for 12 years. Right. And for the last three and a half, four years, we've developed an expertise in 3D. This machine kind of marries the two. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to see is absolute gorgeous image quality. Yes. Quite frankly, yeah. this machine has been the hit of the show and the hit of my booth, so I'm, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Now, the, the image quality is quite stunning, actually. Yes. I mean, it, it really is. And you also get a very clear definition on the the markings and nomenclature, as well as the actual uh, height and... Uh, yeah, one of the biggest problems in the industry right now is lift on smaller devices. As the industry starts working with smaller devices like 0201s, mm -hmm. 0105s, it really is absolute that you need to do 3D inspection to be able to monitor the lift. 2D inspection gets you there, but if you have very subtle defects, the 3D inspection gets you further. Right. So this machine right here is capable of measuring the lift of chip components, also lift of leads, lift of BGAs, and you can really do a full 2D and 3D analysis on the entire board. Right. There's a little overhead for the 3D, Mm -hmm. where you can do a full inspection of the board, which really increases customers' um, quality. And they right. know that that board, when they're shipping that board, it's done correctly. And that's right. what it's all about. That's what inspection is right. all about. So. So, so what sort of field of view are you getting on, on this machine? With this guy here, we have about 2.5 by 2.5 inch field of view. Mm -hmm. the, the lens on this is 10 micron for doing small, small solder joints like with, right. with 0105. Right. So right. the field of view gets reduced. As a matter of fact, if we took and put on a 20 micron camera, we'd be getting a four inch by four inch field of view. That's pretty big. So, it is pretty big, yeah. yeah. But then that also brings up with it a lot of uh, processing requirement. Exactly. And how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the processing? Mm -hmm. Well, we have, of course, um, Windows 7, which is good processing. And wow. we throw a lot of memory in it. It does require a lot of memory because we're doing a heck of a lot of image processing. Right. This particular board that we're talking about, we have 700 regions of interest. It's my test board. And the machine runs in about 24 seconds. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an idea, a normal 2D would probably be, I don't know, maybe about 16, 17 seconds. Mm -hmm. So you are going to have some overhead with the, with the 3D, but uh, a lot of crunching in the background, of course. Oh, and 24 seconds is very, very fast, really. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. And then, of course, using a Windows 7 platform, which uh, most other systems are on XP still. Yeah, you know what? It's, that's a challenge getting there. But we've been working on that for probably the last year and three months or so, and right. we finally got it there. <laughs> okay. So the, the, the next uh, machine you could talk about, we've got two others which are really uh, dedicated or uh, towards LEDs, exactly. uh, which is a huge growing market at the moment. Uh, the first of one is the uh, the MV7 XP. Yes. yes. Uh, can we talk about that? Sure. The MV7 XP. There's two machines here. We have the MV7 XP, mm -hmm. which is going to be a package inspection. So in the LED manufacturing process, we of course manufacture the product, manufacture the LED, and with that we're using wire bonding, and we need to do wire bonding inspection, chip die inspections for defects on the chips, and also stitch ball inspection. Right. And that really marries in very well to our 2D inspection with our 15 megapixel camera. We use a 5 micron lens on that, mm -hmm. which is required to see very, very fine uh, wire Wire bonds. Wire bonds. And, what, uh, what sort of sizes can you go down to? Well, we're talking uh, on the particular board that we're looking at, we have one mil wire bonds. Mm -hmm. I think the smallest that we're going to be able to do is around roughly 0.7 which is pretty darn small. It's pretty yeah, small. I think it's really small. But once again, that 15 meg camera with that five micron lens really allows you to blow up that image. Mm -hmm. We'll show you that image a little later. It's pretty cool. Okay, okay. And then the, the, the other machine is the MV7 UP. No, the MV7 XP. And what it is is after assembly, right, mm -hmm. after we verify that the stitches are correct and the wire bonds are correct and the die is correct, then the LED would go into the encapsulation process where we right. deposit epoxy. And what we're checking there is actually 2D, 3D again. We're taking the same technology that we use for SMT and moving it into package assembly. And what we're looking at is first we're looking after, after uh, encapsulation, we want to see if there's bubbles mm -hmm. or any defects or any uh, abnormalities to the mm -hmm. epoxy using 2D inspection. Right. And then we do is we do 3D inspection using confocal measurement. Okay. And what's really cool with confocal measurement, it's a little bit different. Confocal measurement, you could actually measure the height of water 
and you can actually measure a mirror. Yeah. So reflectivity is not an issue. Mm -hmm. It's a little more costly, but it gives you the best results. And we've decided to put that into our UP machine, mm -hmm. and we've gotten very, very awesome results, and it's been very, very well received here at the show. Interesting. Yeah. So confocal measurement, and, and so how, how does that work within inside the machine? Okay, the way that works is it's actually three confocal probes, mm -hmm. and they scan across each LED. Mm -hmm. And what they do is come up with the topography, the, the encapsulant. So we're looking to see if the encapsulation process, if we're deficient or if we have overfill with epoxy, right. we want to come up with a nominal value. And of course, we set our low max or uh, low test and our high test, right? Minimum, mm -hmm. maximum quantities. Mm -hmm. And then we want to make sure that we're within the, the acceptable criteria for the epoxy level. Right, excellent. Yeah. Well, three very exciting products, Brian. Yeah. You know, uh, you just uh, it just keeps going on and on. Thank so, you. is, is Murtek uh, still investing as heavily in the R and D side? Uh, yeah, all? yeah. Actually, Murtek is. Uh, we persistently invest in LED. And we, the, the whole goal is, if you don't do that, if you don't have a good, strong technology roadmap in this mm -hmm. industry, if you don't stay one one step ahead, uh, you're going to be three steps behind very quickly. Yeah. So that's yeah. Well, that's our claim to fame, really. Right. We invest very heavily in research and development. Yeah. Right. Great. Okay, well, thank you very much for giving us the update uh, on things. So, My pleasure, Trevor. Yeah, thank you, sir. You can also find more about any of these machines if you go to visit the, uh, the Murtech website, which uh, Brian will tell you is www.murtechusa.com. There you go, murtechusa.com. <laughs> this is Trevor Galbraith reporting for Global SMT and Packaging.